How's it going, everybody? I'm here with Zach Pickens, Chicago Bears defensive lineman. Zach, obviously, you have a preseason game in a couple days, but I don't even want to get into football right now. What was the highlight of your summer? Um, just going back home, training, um, getting really used to my body and how it moves, trying to better my game for the Bears and for my career. So going back home, um, working out, going to see family, seeing uh, my friends, just going back home was what I needed. Gotcha. What's, what's the best part of you being back home? You said mentioning your friends, home cooking. Like, what, what can you say about being back home? Every time I go back home, it's something new. Um, I, my mom cooked cook a big old meal for, for me and my brother or for me whenever I come home. Um, seeing friends that I haven't seen almost in a long time, and we just catch up and laugh about old times. Um, then my city is, Anderson is growing by itself. It's, it's actually coming to like such a nice place now, mm. better than what I saw. But we're growing, um, new buildings. It's just new new stuff every time I go home. Gotcha, man. Now I, f I feel that. Um, you said you also wanted to get your body into what, like the Bears, mm -hmm. kind of what you need to, to be for the Bears. What, what do you mean by that? So what did you kind of do by, to change your body? By, um, I was, I didn't like how heavy I was. Um, I was like, close to 310 now I took that weight down I'm close to like 295 297 trying to be able to if I need to have like six seven play drive that mm. I can manage and I'd be two or three <sighs> okay I'm ready get me out but I'm I'm doing better with my conditioning and which we do that a lot here is conditioning mm. trying to better prepare for the season gotcha and as you're kind of learning, I guess, like this new, your new body so far, like you've had a couple of training camp practices in pads. How have you felt like you're, you've held up and just like the heat and everything like that so far? I held up pretty well. Um, everything I need to work on. Um, nothing's never good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to nitpick, coaches nitpick, and we're trying to get me at the best position to, to win. Yeah. And that's what I like about here because we're never done until we're done. So it's always the room to improve and to grow. And Coach Trav always makes sure that it's something that we could take, something we can learn, mm -hmm. something we can use on day-to-day -day life too. Gotcha. When you reflect back to your rookie season, Zach, what, what did you like about what you accomplished in your rookie season? And then also going to 2024 knowing like this is where I can even improve but what did you like to first off um like I I really had a good group around me uh Jay Jones um uh Big Bill mm -hmm. learning from them too and also D Walk and then I also had Jalen Johnson so I had a lot of people in my in my corner Dom like everybody lead we was all when I needed something or I needed to talk about what I was going through because um, I, I felt like I wasn't doing as much for the team. So I'm like, like what am I doing wrong? I'm looking back, I'm reflecting. And it was like, it's all part of the journey where sometimes you may not be needed as much as you think you do. And I had to learn that. I had to figure out myself where everything is not gonna go my way. And, I've learned that and now I can apply what I learned last year to this year um, being on top of what I need to whenever coach said do it um, if I got an issue fix it so um, I'm definitely in a good space where I'm at right now. Awesome you, you mentioned Jalen Johnson as mm -hmm. one of those guys obviously not in your position group yeah. but you know um, is he just a, a leader not only just for you know, the cornerback group, mm -hmm. but it seems like also for one of the members of, of the entire defense, being yes. just a leader there. Yes, um, I, whenever whenever we're on the bus, I'll chop it up with him. Mm. And it's just his mind and where he takes stuff is just amazing. So I take something from him, take something from me, take something from somebody else, then make it up to my standard. And I take all of their standards, try to match theirs each and every day. Gotcha. Now, is that kind of going more into the, the X and O's type of, types of things here? When you see yourself on this defensive line, is there 
a position you feel most comfortable with? Is it the one, the three, or is it is it kind of interchangeable in terms of how you want to play to get the most out of you? Do you feel more comfortable at one position over the other, or how, um, do, you, how do you feel about that? Right now, we're, we're moving left and right, mm -hmm. so I can be nose, I can be three. Um, either or, I'm, I feel comfortable this year that we're moving around and we're not just stuck playing one position. So if it comes to it and we need to, I can stay playing nose and mm -hmm. or Dex or Bill can play three or vice versa. So that's that's the beauty of like what we did last year that we could hold that if we needed to. Gotcha. And now, Zach, I feel like a lot of Bears fans are talking about, you know, Javon in year two, obviously what Montez Sweat can do mm -hmm. another year in this defense. But why why should Bears fans also be mentioning what Zach Pickens can do in your second season in the NFL? I feel like you're almost being a little overlooked or mm -hmm. overshadowed when compared to some of your other teammates. But why, why should Bears fans be thinking, like, what can you do in your second season? I bring a lot of energy once I get opportunity and show them what I can do is – the sky's the limit for me. So all last year, that's what I was planning on doing this year, mm. to take the, roof off, take the roof off and just ball out, play my game instead of playing into the scheme, just play how I normally play. Because all last year I was playing in the scheme. I was doing, I was playing the play without making plays. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do more this year than I did last year. And that's what we've been working on now is improving each day. Gotcha. And what's it been like having Eric Washington in the building? I feel like every time he steps into like the press conference room or anywhere, there's like a presence. You just feel it. Right? Okay. It, it's, it, it's just he brings so much energy and confidence into the room. And like he gets you excited. And then he also coaches you if you need. Like, okay, I want you to try this. You know, I see what you're looking at, but I want you to keep your eyes on this. So he's basically like another helper, like with Trav mm -hmm. and uh, Bean. So it's just having like a third coach to overlook and watch everything that we're doing to help us be better for the season. Gotcha. And okay, really weird question here, but listening to the defensive line and hearing Andrew Billings yell "move" right before like the snap, yes. um, he's the king it, of it. He's the king of it, and I mean, he was causing his voice was literally a weapon the other day at practice. Is does he? I, I don't know. Teach you guys, or do you guys learn off? Or is that just the Andrew Billings? Type? That, that's that's the Andrew Billings thing. Like it, he feels it whenever they about to snap it, he holds it, he'll move. He gets me every time. I don't know how he do it. <laughs> I try to do it and yeah. it didn't work. So uh, it's just an Andrew Billings thing. It's I, I took it from him too. <laughs> Whenever we uh, move, I get it from him too. So uh, I don't know how. Yeah. But he got he got. I guess he got a Q, QB voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's loud, deep, and it, again, it works, which is crazy. Uh, Zach, really quickly, obviously practicing against, you know, Caleb Williams, the offense. What have just been your initial impressions of him so far through, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of practices, and obviously, you know, preseason game coming up. But what have been your initial impressions of him? Um, he's been exciting to watch. Um, he's he's coming to his own. Um, whenever you feel like something's not right, he can change it. Like he's just becoming a quarterback, mm -hmm. a quarterback that we expect he would be. And he's very talented. Um, even Doomsday, he's really talented. Mm -hmm. um, everybody that came in, they came in to work. Book came in to work. All the rookies that came in, they was ready to work. So um, it's just exciting to watch them um, play, and it's crazy. And I'm in year two, and I'm watching rookies again. So it's <laughs> it's really exciting watching Caleb and watching everybody just just to play their game. For sure. And Zach, I just got one more question for you. When you at the end of the 2024 season, how will you view it as a success for you personally? What would be a successful season for you look like? It doesn't have to be stat, but like, what, what does that look like for you, do you think? For me, um, I guess my goal is this year is try to get a sack each game because a sack is like a pick for the DBs because mm -hmm. it's very rare, very hard to get to. So if I can get at least one each, each game, that would be a good – or even get nine or, nine or six. This year, I have a better look. I feel better. And I'm like, we can work off this and we can grow from it. 
Hey, if you're getting, you know, a sack each cam, I'm sure Bears fans are going to be <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's, that's we should have been talking more about Zach Pings in the offseason. But, man, I appreciate you for taking the time and wish you the best of luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We all city like the mayor. 